don't discredit something or ignore it just because it seems familiar. Now, this probably doesn't seem familiar, but we'll get there. In 1796, Thomas Jefferson was in an argument with a count in France about the degeneracy of the United States. The U.S. was in the New World. It didn't have anything as big and as gallon as the Old World. And Jefferson, being the man that he was, was absolutely sure this was not true. These bones arrived on his desk when he was vice president. He looked at them. The largest claw there is seven inches along the curve. And he says, hmm, this is obviously an American giant French count eating lion. <laughs> and he described it at the American Philosophical Society in Philadelphia. The vice president, sitting vice president, gave a scientific paper on fossils, um, proving that America was not degenerate. However, it was later proven that these were actually a giant ground sloth and not a lion. Still a giant, not vicious. Here's Charles Wilson Peale in 1801 in his museum. He led one of the first scientific expeditions in the United States to exhume a monster. You can see it peeking out from under the curtain, and his tooth is there on the bottom right. He designed the machinery. His entire family helped exhume this mastodon. He's in upstate New York. They put it together based on the pointy teeth. It obviously eats meat, so therefore it was a saber-tooth mammoth. Sneezing was probably the cause of the extinction of this creature. <laughs> However, um, after touring in Europe for a while, a very short while, they actually flipped him around and realized this was a mastodon. Thomas Jefferson is now president. He hires two men to go on a long walk. These three paintings are actually painted by Charles Wilson Peale. While they're on the th their journey, Jefferson says, be on the lookout for live mammoths. They've got to be there, and they're going to be in the Rockies. They didn't find any. They sent back enough bones that there was an official bone room in the White House. It's not one now. After the end of their Corps of Discovery, he hired William Clark to personally go to Boone County and oversee the removal of sloths, mastodons, and mammoths, some of the bones we've looked at earlier. And this, all these people that you already knew everything about because we all take it in history, all the history general ed classes that we talked about earlier, is suddenly an entirely different point of view from the, the professional, the scientist, the politician, the artist, the engineer. These things say something to everybody, and they still do. So the next time you're in a natural history museum, stop and look and see what the bones tell you and ask your kids what the bones tell them. It'll be one of the most interesting conversations you'll have with your kids. Thank you.